Hello, welcome to a creature tutorial about Unreal 4 plugin setup. This setup is going to teach you how to set up your Unreal 4 plugin for Visual Studio compilation, and you're going to be required to do this if you want to package up your projects and use the creature plugin, or if you actually have a C++ project. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the creature GitHub page over here. Okay. And these are all the required files. Looks a bit overwhelming, but don't worry about it. We'll get to it and you'll see in a moment it's not that bad. Okay, so let's take it one step at a time. Now, I actually have packaged up a plugin C++ um, bunch of folders for you, an archive file to ease your, your pain, so to speak. So what you do is you go into the creature underscore UE4 git folder and go into this folder called prepackaged plugin setup and you can extract a file over here, a 7-zip seven, seven file, and you'll see in a moment what it is. So let me just open that up. Hold on a second. And... Okay, so here I have the prepackaged setup folder opened up, and once you, have, once you um, unarchive this file, you're going to notice two folders over here. There's third party and creature plugin. So what do those mean? Well, basically go into your project, your actual Unreal C++ project. The thing, the, the way it works is you need a plugins folder and a third party folder, okay? And in the plugins folder, this is where your creature plugin contents are gonna live, right? And in your third party folder, well, exactly, you put your third party thing directly in third party. Okay, so in third party, there's creature lib. You can see here, there's creature lib. All right, so let me go through third party first to show you how it works. So in third party, there is a folder called creature lib. If you go in there, there are two folders, includes and libraries, right? So if you go into includes, you get a whole bunch of files, but it's actually not that complicated. What it is, is actually uh, all the files from this GLM folder, this guy over here. You go into this folder, you dump all the contents of, of this folder into basically the includes. You see how it has the extension.hpp over here? It's got uh, forward.hpp over here. So you dump the contents of this entire folder over here. All right. So that's the first step. The second step is you need to dump the creature module.h, the header file, also into the includes over here, right? And then finally, you need to dump the mini mini z header file over here. You need to dump that into here as well. All right. So that concludes the creature lib includes folder. Then in the libraries folder you just dump the static library, the compiled static library of creature into here. Okay, so that's how it's structured in the third party folder. Right, of course, you can skip all of this by just going directly into, again, prepackaged plugin setup and downloading this, which will give you this for free by default, but it's important to understand what's in it. The next folder we're going to go through is the, the actual creature plugin. And creature plugin actually lives so here's here, for example here's my unreal project my unreal c++ project so we went through third party went through creature lib right so now we're going to go into the plugins folder you're going to make a new plugins folder and creature plugin lives in the plugins folder okay so let's take a look at what creature, creature plugin is go to creature plugin and you're going to have a u plugin file this is all by default you throw that in there it's actually on the github page or on, in a prepackaged setup and then you're going to make a source folder and a resources folder binaries folder is going to be generated for you automatically when you build the project so don't worry about that so if you go into resources you want to dump the icon 128.png into that folder which is over over here essentially if you go to the creature plugin you see over here so again most of these things you actually get for free by default but I'm trying to explain to you what goes in where okay and then in source 
there is a creature plugin folder. Go in there again. You will see this very important file, creatureplugin.build.cs. We're going to get to that later. Okay, but keep this in mind. Then you're going to have a private folder. And in the private folder, this is where you put the actual creature plugin source files. All right. So here, here are the source files. Let me put them side by side so you won't get confused. So notice that's creature actor, the header file and the CPP file, creature plugin, the header file and CPP file, the custom procedural mesh, CPP and header file, and the custom procedural mesh component, CPP and header file. All right, so these files have to be in the private folder. Okay, so once that's all done, let's go back to the project. You really should be good to go, except one more thing. Let's go back to the creature plugin source plugin folder. Okay, <laughs> there is this creature plugin.build.cs. Open that project, uh, open this file up. Okay, and you will see there is one line you need to change. And what's what's the line that you need to change? This line over here. This line is going to point to your third party directory. Remember we made a third party directory before this guy over here. Make sure that this line points to the exact directory that your third party directory lives. Okay. The other very important thing to remember is on Windows, it takes two slashes, not one. You can have a lot of problems. You just put one slash. So two slashes to make sure the compiler finds the third party creature static library. All right. So make sure this is changed correctly before you start a compilation. And finally, if you want to make sure your project actually packages correctly, you would have to go into your project source folder and go into my project. And again, in your projects build.cs, C sharp script, open that up. One other line you need to add is this line over here. Okay. Dynamically loaded module names dot add range. Make sure you add a creature plugin line. This will make sure that when you build a project, it picks up the creature plugin for packaging. If you don't add this line, your plugin is still going to run in editor mode, but it will not run when you package it for a final shipping game. So very important. Remember to do this. Okay. So once you are done, we can finally open up our project in Visual Studio. So let's click on that and let's open up the Visual Studio solution. Okay, so here's our project. And what we do now is we just go ahead and build it. So click on build and say build solution.